Hello guys, welcome to Send Dumb and for today's episode we will be talking about how to make your plants climb on the wall. The reason why I talk about this topic is because plants can grow very fast and sometimes uh, you don't have enough poles available and poles can be very expensive and making your own poles can be very time consuming and you cannot keep up with the plants especially when you have too many so it would be better to make your plants climb on the wall especially if they're just outside of your home but the disadvantage is that you cannot move them around so it would be permanent already unless you remove the roots from the wall then that's the only way that you could move them around now as you could see here this is my syngonium batik uh, this pole coco pole that i made uh, was no longer sufficient for the height of these this plant so the syngonium attached its roots to the wall as you could see it almost reached the top of this wall so it would probably go uh, at the back of our house if this grow further and in here this monkey mask as you can see here it's only on a bamboo stick so I don't know if the size of this leaf would still grow bigger because it is not getting enough nutrients from this bamboo pole but since this are this roots can get its nutrients from the air so I'm hoping that it would still grow as you could see here the this plant has attached itself to the wall with its roots here and this philodendrons there are, se there are several philodendrons that don't grow too fast so it's quite manageable like this philodendron princess see this is the second time it has shown a pink leaf the first leaf died already because you know variegated plants are weaker so they tend to die a lot faster than the regular ones another plant that attached itself to the wall here is this silver lady or silver and i'm not too sure it went up then it went down once it went down it went up again by attaching itself to the wall so i just let them climb there and this one this monstera lanyata is a fast grower i propagated this before but it has grown long again and i don't want to cut it because i want it to reach its full size because when you cut this plant they have the tendency to revert so you won't not see their fullest potential if you're constantly cutting them off so it would be better to just let them grow now this trubii moonlight this used to be full of leaves but now since it has reached its maximum height here it has nothing to grab on the the leaves on the middle drop see there's a lot of space here on the middle 
there used to be a lot of leaves here but it died and I think this plant needs a really good pole a moss pole in order to stay beautiful because now it's it looks bald so I might cut this so it could grow another set of leaves here from here see it, it looks dying then this lupinum it's been growing very fast once it established itself it can grow very fast but at the beginning it is a slow grower With some of the philodendrons here, the growth pace is manageable. I don't have any problem with them. But it's just with some plants, they grow very fast, like this one. This is a propagation of philodendron. I propagated so many of this plant already, but they just keep on growing and growing. This is my philodendron basil, as you can see here, the pole is not enough for this plant, so it attached itself to the wall, so it could have something to climb on. This, these plants are really finding their way to have something to climb on even if you don't give them a pole they'll search for it they might go up and down or travel around this piña per portita monstera piña portita was something that i featured in my past episode as you can see it has reached its top already so i would probably just let this plant clean on a wall. I'll put this on the this on the ground. Actually, if you have a lot of climbing philodendrons or monsteras, it would be better to just place them on the ground. The reason why I have a lot of stands here is because I used to have a lot of bonsai. But if you want to maximize the space, it'll, it would be better if you just place them on the ground so they'll have more space to grow upwards. Now, one of the advantage of having your plants climb on a wall is that you could save money because most poles can be very expensive and you can save time because if you're going to create your own pole, it could be very time consuming. And and it is very hard to keep up if you have so many plants if you have to create your own bowl like for instance all these plants that you could see here in front of you are the fast growers so I just decided to place them all here and be be closer on the wall so they could attach themselves here like for instance this monster Terra Peru. From what I heard, this plant's leaves can grow very, very big. But since I was constantly cutting it, it hasn't developed that much. So I just decided to let it climb on this wall so I don't have to cut them. So if it reaches here, I'll just attach a tape like this one I place a packaging tape so it could so the roots could attach itself on the wall so this is the philodendron that I was talking about before I forgot the name of this plant but it looks very cute because of its shape it looks a fat lady and as you could see here, 
it reached the maximum height of the pole so I just took some packaging tape and stick the stem on the wall here this is just another cutting that has grown very big now I told you this plant is a really fast grower another fast growing plant is this Acutatum I propagated so many of this already so I just let them climb on the wall this is the Philodendron Duchess the difference between Acutatum and this one is this is a lot smaller Acutatum tends to get big actually with this size this is still a juvenile now another Philodendron that is that grows very fast once it's established is this Microstatum or Examinum, Examinum. I'm not too sure about the name but they look so similar so this plant uh, has has its reached its mac the maximum height of the pole so I just place it on the wall so it could climb the size of these leaves can grow bigger if you let it grow in its maturity so don't cut them if you want them to grow bigger another philodendron here is this one philodendron acutatum i just let it lean on the wall and the roots has been attaching itself to the wall since then another climber here is this epipremium albo as you could see here the leaves of the albo tends to get weak especially the white part but the green ones are stronger the reason why i place them here is because once it reach its maximum height of the pole i'll just tie them on the grills of the, in this fuzzy petiole i'm planning them i'm planning to just tie them on the grills also this one the epipremium flame or aurea i'm not too sure what this is but this plant has grown very very long as you could see here I went outside already. I don't know if it, this is the golden photos or I think this is a photos because it's a rounder. This one, the flame or aria, it's elongated. This one is a tibatib. Meat. I think this is the mint one. It went out already. <laughs> then I don't know where they went already because they crawl too much. This one's Tibate, it has grown very long. I don't know where they. I don't know where it's the. This one. See? <laughs> doesn't give in enough leaves because it keeps on crawling looking for a place to attach itself so it's really hard to manage the another fast crawler here is this exotica as you could see here I just tied them on the grills and they went up and they went down just letting do their thing as if they are in a jungle and another one this mycans the big one 
this is a giant my fans it has reached the top already then it went down this epi premium silver and pisilum i think that's the name silver stick in short i have already propagated this one but it has reached the maximum height of the pole so i would probably just stick a packaging tape here so it could attach itself to the wall and this one see this is the pole that i made i just place a packaging tape and stick this pole on the wall so it could continue growing because this Syngonium Alba is a fast grower. The only problem with this plant is that they do tend to lose the old leaves and what will happen is that the leaves would be absent on the bottom part. This plant used to look lush from bottom to top. But now the bottom is already barren. <clears throat> See here, this is a philodendron akuta, ah, green emerald, philodendron green emerald. I just place them near the wall and they just attach themselves there another one is this golden dragon it I hang it here it doesn't have a cocoa ball but it attached itself on the wall and the last plant that I'll be showing you is this Epi Premium Aurea, I think, or Epi Flame, I'm not too sure. This plant is a very fast grower. I I propagated so many of this plant, but it hasn't reached the full size because I kept on cutting it. But this time I did not because I just place them near the wall so it could climb there so what happened is since I no longer cut cutting it the leaves are got bigger and bigger as you could see here from what I know this plant will get its penetration once it reaches full maturity so I'm really really quite happy about this plant because the leaves of this plant used to be so little but now as you could see here it has gotten so big see I'm just waiting for the penetration this one is the acutatum as well see it has reached its full size because and the uh, petioles are so big so if you really allow them to grow wild in your garden this plant would really climb on trees on walls and the petioles and the stem would grow bigger and bigger so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed my talk about plants climbing on walls and if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and i hope to see you on the next episode thank you for watching and goodbye